Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Lindsay, an interior stylist and teacher, here to help you create a home you truly love. I'm trying to go a little bit more modern with our Christmas tree decor this year. Oh, coffee. It's been a couple days since my shopping trip. We hit up several stores, including one of the biggest vintage malls in Seattle. And then of course, all the holiday staples over at University Village. If you're local, you have to go over there and check out all of the beautiful decorations. Let's take a look at some of the holiday decor that I scooped up and some of the great sales that you can take a look at. I'll link everything that I'm about to share down below so you can easily find it and add it to your home decor collection. And next week, I'll be sharing how I'm styling all these pieces in our holiday decor for this year. Neutral large scale plaid pillows, kind of pretty. And there's also these super textural, fluffy ones, very pretty. And then I'm loving this chunky knit blanket with the tassels, especially in the ivory color. It's so pretty. In the Christmas section, there's so many different tree colors, you guys, if you're looking for this style. And there's the woven seagrass type at the top, kind of like the one that I got last year. And then I'm loving this wooden slat one. If I was looking for one today, I'd probably buy this one. It's so pretty. Then you've got the metal options in both this uh, sort of silver, chrome, and the gold. And they're honestly pretty cost effective, $70. The wood slatted one, of course, is the most expensive, $99. But oh my gosh, so worth it and beautiful beautiful option instead of a fabric tree skirt. I don't really want the like loud character <laughs> stockings really for us, but I do like these sort of quieter, cozy, uh, looks like faux fur, winter white, and then arctic brown, and I'm kind of thinking those for us. Haven't decided yet. There's also this cute option with snowflakes, of course red and green if you're looking for that. I'm loving the more neutral shade. basket so far. I'm loving this tree topper. It's kind of that starburst sort of design, very mid-century. Kind of excited about it. Then we've got all these little glittery coral ornaments, some more interesting garland. I already have one of those little passports. And then there's all these little glittery snowflakes. You guys, there's so many options here. I love all this super modern holiday light tones, neutrals. And then you've got all the colorful florals in their little flower market. And then look at all this wreaths and garland. This is the chair I've been obsessed with for quite some time. It's a swivel. It is so bubbly and round and delicious, and I love this textured fabric. Oh my gosh. This mirror is so pretty. I wish I had a space for it. I probably could find a space if I tried hard enough. Crate and Barrel's answer to the cloud sofa looks absolutely so comfortable, but it would be kind of a mess. You have to fluff those quite a bit. What I'm really here to look at is this coffee table. It might be my dream coffee table right now. It is so stunning. It's Leanne Ford for Crate and Barrel, and this one is $16.99. I just love these thick, chunky legs on this one. It's 
got the best profile. A couple other things I love, this cane bed set. This is a bench for the foot of the bed and then the headboard. It's just so unique. I haven't seen anything quite like it. And then you also have these matching night tables. I personally would never advise getting all three of these pieces. It's just a lot of matching, but I could see doing the bed frame or just the side tables. I'm also interested in swivel round chairs for a living room, and this is definitely an interesting style. This one's the Infinity Swivel Chair. It comes in a lot of different colors, including neutrals. Here's another bed I absolutely love. I think this would look so cool in our house. It's definitely a low profile, low to the ground kind of bed, but oh, so pretty. Combination of the wood and this upholstered sidebar. Oh, it's cool, you guys. I also love the beautiful wicker lamp here. I've looked at this one online several times. Pedestal table, also quite pleasing. And then we've got this Leanne Ford cabinet, which we don't have a space for, but it's stunning. 1800. I love this tree, you guys, I'm obsessed. It is so modern and so pretty. And these ornaments, look how this one catches the light. So my mama and I were getting two boxes each. It comes in a variety pack. There's four in the box. There's this color, this color. So there's a group and I think they're gonna be so pretty. And I don't know if I can stop myself from buying these marble ornaments. Look at these, they're so cool. This is the green one, and they also come in kind of a multi-pack. They're stunning. And then my big question is, do I go all the way modern and get these? Look how cool they are. I love the red and white buffalo plaid, but I kind of think I like the black and white better. Those are such Pottery Barn Christmassy plates. So I always feel like they do these little antler things. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like the texture of these runners too. The one on here at this table is really pretty. I love all the black and white. Oh my gosh, look at this store. It looks like a Christmas wonderland because that's what they do at Pottery Barn. It's just red and white as far as the eye can see. Look at all the cute things. Oh my gosh, look at all the Christmas pillows. I'm kind of liking the neutral zone of pillows. Okay, which one? Cozy like? pillows. I love these, but I'm always afraid like they're gonna get a pull. I have one of those. Do you? They're so pretty. Oh, I kind of like the this tone. This feels like my house. The tree pillow is cute. I think it's just like a little bit too much for me. Do you have this one? It's similar. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, look at the nutcracker. I like the nutcracker. 25% off all stockings. I want to find a stocking. Oh my gosh, look at these teddy bear blankets. They're so cute. They're so fluffy. I like how fluffy they are. Grandma would love this red bird tree topper. Oh my gosh, look at the... Lindsay. Oh my gosh. I want it. I want it. That might be the one. I love it. I love this like fluffy fur and they're 25% off all stockings and these ones are 39. I love all these florals. You guys know I don't love faux florals, but for the holidays, all bets are off. And I think for the holiday season, faux florals are the only way to go pretty much, unless you're getting a few real plants to kind of splice into them. A real wreath is nice too, but kind of unnecessary. If you buy something like this, it can last every year and always looks fresh. I love these woven pillows. They come in several colors. There's this very warm tone, neutral shade, and then they have this ivory too. They are so cute. It's like a big giant 
cable knit sweater. I also kind of love this pillow. I'm not doing a lot of red this year, but that is such a pretty pillow. These mirrors are so cool. And then a super modern table. And these trees are so good. They're ceramic glazed and they have a sort of antique feeling. Oh, I'm starting to wish I bought these instead of something I bought at Crate and Barrel. Cozy pillows and holiday throws. There's this like gnome pillow, you guys, that is hilarious. Does it have eyes? I don't think so. And then there's also this Sherpa like boucle heart pillow, which is kind of not for me. But I do like this waffle with the shearling on the back. That is so cozy. And then they got the matching blanket. This is definitely more my speed. This tree is all sea themed. It's all like coral and clownfish, all kinds of things. Look at this jellyfish ornament. It is so cute. Lots of different holiday pillows. Definitely have all the red options. And then the throw blankets are all like kind of fur lined or Sherpa lined, so cozy. And I can't recommend these mugs enough, you guys. My mom and I got these last Christmas and they are awesome. I love how pretty they are. Very subtle plaid. You can get one for everyone on your list. 30% off. Pottery Barn plates are a little on the traditional side for me, but there's so many great offerings if this is your style. If you're into gnomes, this might be for you. I'm not into word art, you guys know, and I that includes Christmas stuff, but fa la 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 on a little napkin, that might be possible. These teddy bear robes are half off for the Black Friday deal, you guys, and they're so fluffy. I love them. It's a long robe. It's just like teddy bear fluffiness. Originally 79, but right now 50% off, and they are on the website, so treat yourself you deserve it $40 it's not holiday but since we're here let's take another look around there's a lot of beautiful throw pillows here right now you guys I'm especially liking this patterned one if you are in the red zone with your decor not just holiday that shadow that's a really pretty one they even have gifts for dogs this pillow is so cute. It's like holiday without being too in your face holiday. Like all my favorite things in this store today, it's fuzzy and fluffy. This table feels like something you'd find at that huge antique festival or whatever in Texas that everybody goes to every year, like round top or something. Worn wood, beautiful. I'll link everything I can down below so you can add it to your own holiday decor collection. Let's take a look at my favorites. I'm so excited to style these. I really wanted a Starburst tree topper. There were a couple different options out there. There's this one that I'll link for you down below. It's Crate and Barrel. It's absolutely stunning, but it was just too tall for our living room ceiling height. Returned it and found this one at CB2. This one was only $16.95, I wanna say too. If you're looking for that mid-century, this will definitely add that vibe. And honestly, you don't even have to have a tree topper. If you don't have room for one, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you have beautiful ornaments that grab the attention, you won't even notice there's no chopper. One of the top things on my wish list was some new ornaments. I really wanted something a bit more modern and I was so excited to catch a lot of these beautiful designs at CB2 this year on sale and a ton of them might still be on sale, you guys. So keep an eye on the website. I'll link everything down below. I'm going for a more subtle holiday look this year. I really want to feel like holiday didn't just come in and explode all over the living room. This year, I'm really trying to layer in things that are in the color tone of our home and that just sort of holiday merged with the design style. <laughs> this set is called the Spun Glass Christmas Ornament Set. They're regularly $30, but I got them for $23.96, of course, random sale price, but they are so beautiful. They are a little bit subtle in the box, but they catch the light of the lights on your Christmas tree. They almost look lit within once you hang them on the trees. Plus they're a little bit larger scale for those larger gap areas in our Christmas tree to really fill in that space and make it feel Oh, just so luxurious for such a fantastic price. I am absolutely in love with these marbleized glass ornaments from CB2 as well. These ones are originally $30. $23.96 was all I paid for these. Next, probably my favorite ornaments that I found. I looked at them and kind of talked myself out of them, but I couldn't resist going back for them. Jennifer Fisher collection for CB2. I believe they're called tie-dye ornaments online. These were originally $8.95. I got them for 
for about $7 on sale. I think they're so beautiful. So I got six of these. I got six of these little coral, I think they kind of look like white snowball ornaments from Crate and Barrel. These were $3.95, but again, like 30% off. And then these darling little beaded pine cones. I almost bought these from Crate and Barrel last year to add just a little bit more texture and sparkle to the tree. And then, oh, I couldn't resist this one, you guys. Talk about sparkle. I wanted something that just kind of threw something really shiny and sparkly in there just for fun. So I got three of these large glitter pine cone ornaments from Pottery Barn. These are regularly $9.50, but everything was 30% off. While at Pottery Barn, I could not resist grabbing this little votive holder. And this one was only $8.50. Love that sort of gold in there, and then it just shines out. Oh, so it just adds that little bit of vibe. And even after the holidays, it's gonna look great out on our our coffee table. Our neutral, subtle Christmas holiday decor vibe had to come with some new stockings and I looked at every single store for the perfect kind. I was pretty picky. I wanted something kind of chunky. I wasn't sure if it was going to be knit or more of a furry and I went for the softest furry <laughs> stockings I have ever seen you guys these came from pottery barn it is like a fluffy furry blanket i got two of the same color it's this sort of warm tone neutral they had also an ivory they have plaid they have red and green they have all different kinds but i really love how natural and neutral this is since we have that black portuguese tile on our mantle i thought this would contrast while keeping the overall palette warm and comfy and cozy and honestly I just kind of want to lay with these they are so <laughs> Kelly was very excited when I took these out of the bag. I think she wanted to lick them. Last for this little haul, something that I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy. I've thought about buying these for the last several years. If you watched my holiday content last year, I made a DIY video where I tried to make these. I still wanted the original set from Crate and Barrel. It's these little white houses. I just love them. And I happened to grab the last, last set in the Seattle store. So this one's the white ceramic split level, which was my favorite of the whole collection. And then this one is the white white ceramic bell tower. There was also a church and another couple of home options. I think Pottery Barn has a similar set, but they're a little bit larger scale and a lot of different retailers are making these. So if you're looking for something, also, if you want to make your own, you can check my DIY from last year. It's a super cost effective and honestly kind of fun way to create your own little white house collection for your mantle. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, I am so impressed with you, number one, and grateful. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. Until next time, I would suggest you head on over and check out these two videos from last year's holiday decor and I'll see you in the next video. Bye my friends.